Restoring from our backup file is very important because I slipped a little bit. And I told you once we convert that catalog, all of our albums and everything would be back. That was not the truth. The truth is you have to restore from that backup that we created in that last video. So we have the organizer opened up here and you can see I already restored my backup. I'm going to walk you through the, the steps here. So you go under file and go restore catalog. Then you get this little menu here. Let's go ahead and we're going to blow this up a little bit here for you to see it. So restore from where? This is from the last video, how we created that backup. So I just hit browse. When I did that, I was able to actually go out to where I put the backup and pick this backup.tyl or tly, I'm sorry, click OK. The next thing is restore the files in catalog to where you can put this anywhere you want to put this. I just happened to put it under a, a file that I created, a folder I created called Jack. So I went to uh, Jack here, Photoshop Elements, what did I call it? CAT for catalog. And then I just simply clicked OK. Then I clicked on this restore original folder structure that I had before. Then you click on restore. Now it does take a few minutes to restore. Once you get it restored, it'll come up. It'll say catalog restore and you hit OK. When you do that, then all of your albums will come back up. Here's Christmas from 2016. You see, I got the kids in here. This was uh, my nephew's graduation. I uh, created a, a album folder in here. Actually, it's called uh, New Album Category. And I created one called Trips. But we'll sh I'll show you this along the way on how to create these. Don't worry about seeing that now. But uh, Wilderness Trip, this is when myself and my wife was uh, taking a walk through a park that we found while on a recent trip. Um, here's stuff from Hawaii. Here's stuff from a cruise we took in 2016. So, you know, albums and catalogs, well, not catalogs, albums and sub-albums and uh, album top are so important to organizing your photos. So just wanted to show you real quick on how to restore. So once you get it, uh, the organizer back opened, um, go ahead and restore from that backup that we just created in the last video. Okay. And I'll see you back here in the next video. And I think that's where we're going to start talking about the differences. Uh, we should have enough time here to create those. Between uh, 2018, we'll look at some differences between that and the new 2020. So thank you, and I'll see you back here in that video. Bye for now.